Good morning and welcome to another Rails on Gamer tutorial, this time looking at the graphic qualities and the graphic settings for Tracing World 5 using NVIDIA. This video has been requested quite recently so I thought I'd go through it, um, but just a disclaimer that this will only actually affect people that are using NVIDIA devices. We will be changing some of the settings within Train Simulator World 5, so please feel free to change them. That doesn't matter what graphic card or settings you use, um, as they're just universal ones. Uh, but this will be mostly focusing on NVIDIA devices. Um, so again, just a disclaimer before we start, um, these are the settings that I like to use on my device. If you change it in yours, that is completely your own risk. Uh, if you change anything about fan speeds or graphic design, you've got to do it within the means of your computer. Um, but that is... That is you know, that's by the by. So with that said, the first thing we're going to do is go to NVIDIA Control Panel. To get to NVIDIA Control Panel, first thing you need to do is go to your Start menu and type in NVIDIA. Um, you don't want the NVIDIA app, you want this one, NVIDIA Control Panel. And this will open this dialog just here. Just like this. Um, and the area we need to go to first is to go to, it normally opens it by default, is Manage 3D Settings. So click this and you'll be presented with this screen. Um, first thing also we need to do is make sure we're just applying it, unless you want it globally applied to all your games, which some people do and some people don't, you need to actually identify the game. So to go to program settings, click this tab here, and this will list all the programs that you should have. So first thing we need to do, it might take a second just to load them, is add Train Simulator World 5. Because I've already done this, it is already added, um, so to actually add it in the first place, if you if you find that it's missing, if you go to Add just here, and then go to Browse, and then navigate to your Train Sim World file, you'll find it. So it's found in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Train Sim World 5, and Windows, that one. And then if you just click this application here and click Add or Open, it will then add it. By doing this, this just ensures that you're applying it only to Train Sim World 5, which I guess some people want to do and some people don't. And then you'll be presented with a lot of these settings along here. So, the first thing we're going to look at is image scaling, and you want that switched on. So, I turn mine on, and I normally leave it at 50%, um, and that just looks after pretty much the scaling of the program. And then you just click OK to that, and it will apply the settings. The next setting we're going to look at is anti-filtering. So we're going to zoom in and we're just going to click this here and we're just going to change that to 16 times just like this. To be fair, mine was globally set already. Next one, we're going to look at anti-analyzing FXAA. By default, that is switched off. So we want to turn that on just like this. After that, we're going to look at anti-analyzing mode and we're going to set this one to enhance the application settings just like this. Next one we're going to look at anti-analyzing setting and we're going to change that to 8 followed by low latency mode and we're going to switch that on just like this. So this setting is quite interesting. So we look at power management mode and that use prefer maximum performance. To be fair that depends on your rig and how much power you like it to use. I normally just leave this to adaptive um, so it doesn't mean my computer is constantly doing stuff However, sometimes I would say put it on prefer maximum performance just like this. Uh, just be aware that sometimes that can make more noise from your fans. as they're... And lastly, we're going to look at vertical sync and we're going to change that to, we're going to change that to use the 3D application setting just like this. After we've done all them settings, we'll zoom out again so you can see. We're literally just going to click apply in the bottom right hand corner. And that is going to change all the settings just for Train Sim World 5. So once we get into Train Sim World 5, we need to go to Settings, let's go to Screen. We're going to change the screen resolution to 1920 or whatever your screen resolution is. And we're also going to change this to full screen and graphic preset of high. After you've done that, we're going to go back and then go to advanced settings. We're then going to go to advanced settings and set the following. Shadow quality is going to be high 
Effects quality is going to be medium. Texture quality is going to be high. View distance is going to be ultra, just like this. Post, -pro post processing is also going to be ultra. V-Sync should be off and anti-analyzing is going to be set to TAA. Once our settings look like this, please feel free to pause the video, we want to click E and apply the settings. Just like that. If we now load into the trains, we'll see the settings we've now applied. We're now just going to collect a random service and see it. And these are the final settings. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe, comment and like. And if you have any suggestions for any future comment, please put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.